everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn basic checkmates. And to start off we have a position with uh, a queen, rook and king against black king. So now let's learn the basic idea. So f The idea is that we need to block each rank where the king can escape. And then after the king moves, suppose on uh, anywhere I decide to give check, block this rank and slowly slowly block the ranks which king goes so to start off we can get queen to a5 or rook to a, uh, h5 to block the rank so we'll move our rook so now he has moved king to e6 if even he, if we would move king c6 we would have queen a6 and blocking this rank also so let's play queen a6 now he has played king f7 so we need to block the rank now king has moved to g8 which is attacking on our h7 rook if we go to deliver a checkmate then he will just take our rook so first we will need to take our rook at the side we can move our rook here here or here but if we move here then he will have king f8 and threatening this rook and again we would have to move our rook so it's better to move the rook first only and if you would move the rook here, then uh, our queen would be blocked, but still we would have queen c8. So now we have queen a8, it's a checkmate. Our next pattern will be two rooks mate, which is the same idea, but we won't have a queen. So we'll have to move the rook. So let's play rook a5 this time. He's king to c6. Rook here. King to b7. Now we can't give check because king will take our rook. So we'll move our rook at the side. Now give check. And now king can't attack our rook because it's way far from these two rooks. Now we'll deliver checkmate. If we give check by this rook, then the king can escape here. So we will have to block each rank. So here it's done. Next we will have a queen and bishop checkmate. Uh, so this we can even deliver a checkmate without this bishop. But uh, it will become easier if we get the bishop in the game. So we'll try uh, the same pattern. There are many patterns, but we will uh, go stick to the basic patterns and uh, we'll lock the rank. Okay, so for queen and king checkmate, you need to keep a knight distance so that the king will keep on moving at the side, side, side. And we'll keep on giving knight distance. So now it's in knight distance. Maybe we can get a king or a bishop. Anything is possible. We'll block the rank. Rank. Rank by rank we will check my dear opponent. If you want, you can get a bishop in the game to make it easier so that the king doesn't escape. Now you can give check. We, we have many ideas but we don't want to stalemate the king stalemate is when the king doesn't have any square to go, go. and if a, even if he doesn't have a pawn which can move uh, then when black doesn't have any move or white doesn't have any move that's called a stalemate so we don't want to stalemate the king so let's play uh, let's move our king in the game we can even get bishop g6 but oh okay we'll stick to our basic idea block the rank now we can play bishop g6 now we if he moves here we have queen f7 mate and if he moves here we have queen h7 mate bishop g6 now queen f7 is mate and because the bishop is uh, queen is giving a check to the king and king can't move anywhere and bishop is protecting but if this was not a check suppose uh, i would play uh, queen was over here and king was over here instead of the bishop then it would be a stalemate because there was no check and king can't move anyway so now let's do checkmate not stalemate and let's go to the next exercise it's queen and knight mate and let's block the rank first knight distance now we can give check Let's give my distance. 
check. Now you can get a king for a waiting move. Now knight distance. Now if we move knight to g6, it's a stalemate because king can't move anywhere. And this is protected by the queen. And this is protected by the knight. So we we'll play knight to e6. Allowing the king only one square on h8. And we have queen g7 mate. Knight is protecting the queen and king can't move anywhere when he's checked. Next we have queen and uh, queen mate only with the queen. So here it's uh, very uh, simple. The idea is just to give knight distance like how I was showing in the earlier this. Where only you have king, no knight, no bishop in this position. Just give knight distance. Uh, first we'll block the rank and then we'll start giving knight distance. When king is already in knight distance, we don't have a piece. So we'll get a king in the game. And then we we'll slowly, slowly start blocking the ranks. Now it's knight distance. Now we are king. Knight distance. Knight distance again. This is already knight distance, but we'll block the rank. Now if you play queen f7, trying to give knight distance, this is a stalemate because king can't move anywhere. So we'll get a king in the game. King is a defender to give checkmate in the next move. Now anyway, queen d8, queen e8, queen f8 or queen g7 is a mate. Let's go with queen g7. So it's a mate. Now we will have rook mate. And there are more uh, advanced concepts where we give double bishop mate and bishop and knight mate. But that I'll show you next time. For now, let's stick to rook and king mate. So for this, we'll need to block again the ranks slowly, slowly. And we can even get a king and block this three squares king has only um eight squares so we need to block the front squares let's block the front now we can get a rook to block the rank let's play a waiting move so that the king goes here now our idea is that we need to give the king like this opposition and we need to give a check somewhere here when the king is in opposition so let's give waiting move or we can yeah let's play a waiting move king here let's give our position now we can give one more waiting move so that the king goes here and we give check or if he moves back then it's good for us we can get our king closer okay we'll give check now let's protect the rook by controlling this King, let's again give a waiting move, check, protect the king. Now here it's a mate when we come here with the opposition. So we don't, uh, king can't go out of the board. <laughs> so that's why it's a mate. So we need to be very careful not to do a still mate. We can move king here because if we move king here, rook here, king moves back and is a mate. So we'll have to move here. We can move uh, rook to c7, king to a8, king to b8, uh, king to b6, king to b8, rook to c6, king a8, and this is a mate. So let's play rook c7. It's a mate. So with this, it, we finish with basic checkmates. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye.